Another enhancement is another very useful feature, adding a 3DS name for the parts. So every time, every time you work with parts that come from, in this case, we are in Creo. Creo parts have their own name and in this case, they're, they're named very nicely, head lantern and back bracket, but most of the time they're numbers and it's very difficult for users to figure out what they want to call them. So what we added, we added, I'm going to double click on the bracket. We added another field here, which is called DCS part name. And that is a field that the user can edit. If nothing was uh, written in here, what we do, we pick up the name that the part came with and we put it in this field. But if you um, want to give it a different name that makes sense to you, you call it uh, this yes bracket. And that name appears in here. Now, how do they appear in here? It's based on what settings we have in the alias display, which are part of preferences. So I'm gonna open preferences and I'm gonna go to my alias display and I'm looking for part customize. Checking this box, it lets you modify it. And I'm gonna go to the, the little three dots here and open this dialog box. What is this for? It lets you add um, this this name. So what I did in here, let's say initially, it comes like this. Okay, once it comes like this, I'm saying apply. And you see, this is the original name that it came with from the CAD system. So I N, right? Well, I want to add something else. I want to add my my own name before this. So I'm going to click here. I'm going to check mark the DN. So it adds it there and I can put something, a space between them or not. I like underscores to keep it a little bit separate. Once I say okay here and I say apply, my names appear. This one was already changed by me. So that's why it appears. But like I said before, if you don't have a name already um, already typed in here of your own choosing, it, it keeps the name from the cat. And to recap, this is the DCS name that we saw in the alias display. If I go back to preferences, the DN, I, I put three underscores and then this is the name that comes from the cat. We, we don't modify this this field here it's not something that we modify it stays there the way it comes from the cat and you can display it or not if you don't want to display it you go to your alias display and get rid of it and when you say apply all you see is what we saved or what we typed so this top box is not shown. It depends on how long the names are for you and what works for you as far as identifying your parts.